How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today I think I have something really fun for you guys. I get DMs all the time from people that are out of state or they're just new to the area and they always ask me, Drew, where can I go to just drive my car and have a great time? So today, using the Insta360 ONE X2 camera, we are going to be taking the McLaren all around Southern California and I'm gonna be showing you my personal five spots of where I would go if I wanted to cruise or just you know get my mind off some stuff now these are all opinionated ideas these are not you know set in stone or anything but a lot of them are very well known for California and the car scene so um, don't be surprised if you hear any that you are familiar with if you're from the area but anyways let's go get this mounted up and let's go first things first screw it on to your invisible selfie stick and your suction cup mount now let's go attach this to the vehicle it's so easy I could probably do it with one hand not even gonna lie slap it on go ahead and press the suction mounts and just like that she is ready to go now if you guys have been watching me for a while you guys know that I absolutely love my insta 361 x2 but if you are unfamiliar why let me just quickly explain it to you one it is super easy to use you just set it up wherever you think there will be a good shot you click record and you never have to worry about angles and making sure that your subjects in frame you do that all in post editing and it's super easy to use the next thing is it shoots in 5.7k resolution with an increased bitrate so whatever you're capturing is going to look spectacular i already mentioned it but the invisible selfie stick is just super clutch it's not in your frame it's not really like in your face or anything like that it looks like you have a floating drone flying behind whatever you're filming at all times and that is really cool it also has improved ambisonic audio recording the last two things have to be the flow state stabilization and the cost the flow state stabilization makes it so it is the smoothest operating pocket camera on the market that with its 360 lens means that you will have incredibly smooth shots even when you're not in smooth circumstances I've taken my McLaren on the track I've taken it through canyons and every time I've done it it just looks like a video game camera tracking it that and lastly compared to other cameras it is extremely affordable coming in right over the $400 mark but if you guys want to get yours you can click the link in description down below and get yours for a little bit of a discount and support the channel just to clarify this deal gets you 10% off the one x2 camera and a free dash cam offer ends May 20th so guys click the link in the description and go secure yours now if you do I appreciate it if not just think about it take a look at the rest of the video and I'm sure you'll be sold on it too let's go get started now one thing you'll notice with this list is a lot of the locations are around Los Angeles and that's just because that's where I happen to be I'm sure there's great spots down in San Diego but for this video we're going to be focusing on the los angeles area and the orange county area all right the first location on my list is angeles crest highway and this is just north of los angeles and this in my opinion is one of the most fun canyons in the los angeles area it's pretty technical so you will need some sort of skill or at least to limit yourself on speed depending on what vehicle you're in so you don't go over the edge that's where it gets a little sketchy there's a lot of edges okay there's a lot of cliffs and if you go and you push yourself a little too hard it's not going to end well this is one of those spots where i really really just want people to go get used to it have some fun there's a lot of great scenery um, if you look all around you there's just beautiful mountains you can see los angeles in the distance depending on what side of the mountain you're on it looks absolutely amazing and if you go up during winter you can actually hit snow which is what i did in a previous video it's super fun it's a nice speed canyon it's got really tight turns in certain areas and really wide ones and other ones it's a really fun canyon overall a couple downsides are it's you know kind of far and at the same time it's past LA for me, so there's a little bit of traffic getting there. But overall, in my opinion, I think it's well worth it if you're in the area, if you're not from the area, or you just want to learn how to drive a canyon. This is a really great canyon for you. Just be cautious of those edges. You don't want to go off. The next location on my map is the Santa Monica to Malibu PCH stretch. This, if you've played GTA 5 at all, is going to look very familiar because it's pretty much ripped right out of reality and placed into the video game so 
If you actually have played the video game, you've pretty much been there. It, the game is very realistic. It's a very easygoing drive. You're just cruising down PCH. You got the beach on one side. You got some crackheads on the other. But overall, though, still a very relaxing drive. It's really nice seeing the cliffs of Malibu. I don't think the scenery is as good as Angeles Crest Highway because you don't have as much nature around you. And sometimes you are blocked by buildings and cars. But if you're going and you're cruising around and you want to stop to eat somewhere, this is definitely the stretch for you to to go on there's a lot of food restaurants on the stretch there's a lot of landmarks a lot of nice places to just stop and hang out and the great thing about this is you don't have to stop you can cruise it all the way up go through malibu and just keep riding pch and you'll just have a really good time overall a couple downsides are once again it's kind of far from where i am personally and there's usually traffic getting there and sometimes some traffic there as well so uh, i wouldn't recommend going on more active days but if you're looking for somewhere to spend a day this is definitely a great spot for you this next one i had to think of a little bit and personally i think this is a better night drive than a day drive but still a very fun place to just cruise around and hang out and that is cruising the pike and going towards palos verde or palos verde going towards the pike there's a lot of cool bridges that you can go over you go over the ports of long beach you get to ride on this brand new bridge that they just built and at night it looks absolutely beautiful now we did go through it during the day and also my fuel door was up right here for some odd reason that's just mclaren things but cruising through palos verde there's a lot of cliffs there's a small canyon in it which we did not go to and there's a lot of hiking spots so if you're just looking for a place to cruise pull over hike hang out with a girl this is a very nice spot for you afterwards you go towards the pike and there's a lot of food places to eat at a lot of shops the aquarium the queen mary there's a lot of activities you can do in this area so if you're looking to take a girl on a date this is probably a really good spot for you one of the cool things about the pike is that there's actually races held there so you, while you're driving through long beach you're actually driving on a racetrack and you'll see in some of these clips some of these guardrails and fences up that's because the races were just a couple weeks ago and they're still cleaning up after it so you're technically driving on a racetrack which always feels cool personally i think it's a better night cruise but if you want to spend a day here here as well take a girl out it's a great spot to just spend your saturday the next location on my list is the seal beach to newport beach pch stretch this is just a straight beach vibe if you're from out of state and you want to experience the beach i recommend coming here instead of Venice Beach or Santa Monica. It's a very easy drive and it usually has pretty light traffic. You're never gonna be waiting over an hour to go like two miles. So don't even worry about that. The scenery is top notch. You get to experience straight Surfer Central in Huntington Beach. There's great piers, great places to eat, great beaches to chill at. Parking is usually plentiful and not too expensive unlike Santa Monica or Venice. And the drive is just a vibe. You're cruising on PCH, you got water on both sides sides at some points you just pull over get some food get back in your car with all of your homies go drive down to the beach some more and it's just it's just straight up a vibe i cruise this spot a lot day and night really fun it's pretty local to me so it's a great place for me to cruise and clear my head sometimes or try to think of video ideas or just you know test out my car but if you want to experience a beach cruise this is the one for you the last spot on my list is trabuco or santiago canyon I hear people calling it both names, so I'll just say both, but I usually know it by Trabuco. And this has to be one of the easiest canyons out there, so if you are new or a noob or, you know, barely learning to walk, this is probably the canyon for you. It's really not technical at all. There's not really many tight turns or anything. You can actually carry some pretty decent speed through it if uh, there's no law enforcement around. But it's a really relaxing drive. There's really great scenery throughout it. There's beautiful mountains in the distance. And recently they've been really green, which just looks beautiful. And one of my favorite things about this one is it's not sketch at all. So if you just want to learn a canyon, say you're learning how to ride a motorcycle or something, which is actually one of the first places I went. But this is a great canyon to go and test yourself and see just how how you can lean or how you can turn or how you can handle a vehicle with not fearing your own life. Angeles Crest, you always fear about going over the edge and falling hundreds of feet. This one, you don't really have to worry about that. I still wouldn't like to go off the road, but you at least won't die for the most part. This one requires a little bit of a drive but I think it's also worth it. It's also great at night as well because it's not as sketch as Angeles Crest. But overall, it's just a really chill learning spot for any new car enthusiast or any new motorcycle rider. 
anyways guys that is going to do it for this list there were a few more spots i did want to mention i do like turnbull canyon depending on the vehicle i'm in it is a very tight canyon located in whittier so i wouldn't recommend taking your muscle car through here because you will go off the edge but if you're cruising through it it handles but depending on the vehicle you're in you can really get up in those corners and really push your car to the limits. My personal favorite spot on this list would probably be PCH, just because I like that beach vibe so much. But if I really wanted to drive my car hard, I would go to Angeles Crest all day. Guys, now is your chance to secure an Insta360 ONE X2 camera for 10% off, and in doing so, you will get a free dash cam. This deal ends May 20th, 2022, so click the link in the description, get your own camera, and have fun filming. Anyways, let me know what you think below. If you're from Southern California, what other spots would you recommend to someone that's new to the area? Anyways, guys, if you want to support me or pick up an Insta360 ONE X2, click the link in the description down below. Take advantage of that discount. Go pick one up. You will not regret it. It completely changes the game when it comes to capturing whatever you want to capture. Thank you, Insta360, for sponsoring this video. Anyways, guys, until next video, peace.